Um, in this video, I want to explain the process for making my lathe tools that I do sell on my website. Uh, I put out a video when I first made this one, uh, but now I have almost a completely different process. So I'll take you through that. Um, so in this video, I'm going to go through the gluing up of the blank and getting that prepared. Uh, this is going to be a few video series. I'll probably do this one. I'll do one for turning the handle, one for preparing the bar stock and gluing it together. And uh, we'll go from there. Let's get started. So first things first, what kind of materials I'm going to use. I have chosen to do maple and walnut. Uh, if you guys see my tools, you know I use the maple as a center stripe, surrounded by walnut. Um, I'm going to need two pieces of walnut to one piece of maple, and that's per handle. So if you have multiple handles, you need two pieces to one piece per handle. So the next thing I need to do is dimension down the lumber. I'm making some full size handles in this video, which overall handle length is 18 inches. So I'm gonna give me a little bit extra room. I'm gonna cut mine at 22 inches. That'll give me room to chuck it up in the lathe when I go to turn it. After that, I'm gonna take it over to the table saw and cut down the width. I'm gonna rip it down at about two inches wide So next I'm just going to take one piece of walnut and the one piece of maple, glue those two pieces together and then I'll set it aside to dry. and a half hours later. So it's the next day and I've let these blanks dry overnight. The next thing I'm going to do is get these blanks out of the clamps. I'm going to scrape off all the excess glue. We're going to take one of the bars for the tools. I want about an 8 inch reach for the full size tool so I'll measure out 8 inches and mark it and that way I can use that bar to determine how far back we're gonna go into the blank and cut out the groove on the router. Now the line that I'm drawing on the blank will match up with a center line that I have marked on my router. So when I go to cut my blank, I'll line up those two lines and I'll know that I've gone deep enough into the blank. Then I'll just slide my table saw fence over to hit the center line of the blank uh, so I can cut the slot in the center of the, the maple. So I'll lift the bit up uh, to half the depth of what I want to actually cut it to. I'll make my first cut. After that I'll lift the router bit the rest of the way for the cut and do a second pass. Okay, so now we've got our slot cut into our blank uh, to fit 
a toolbar, just like so. But you'll notice that the uh, groove is too deep to where you have a lot of space in between the bar and where the other piece is gonna flush up. Which leaves you a huge gap. So next I am going to um, normally I would take this over to my planer, plane it down, but that's quite a bit that we've got to take off. So I'm going to take it over to the table saw and cut it off on the table saw. Okay, so now we have this cut. I just want to check that the bar is still inside. I just want to make sure that when this is in, I can still slide my bar in. That should work out good. I'll give this a light sanding and then we'll glue up the other side. Now you don't want too much glue in this area to where it's going to seep into your slot. Um, just enough to kind of hold it, plus you'll have the epoxy coming here to hold everything together. So just make sure you don't put too much to where it's seeping in here because it'll be very difficult to try and clean that out to put the, slide the bar back in. Approximately 10 hours later. So I've just taken the clamps off the blanks and the next thing we need to do is to clean up the edge where the ferrule will go, where the toolbar is. So where we have these slots, we're going to take this on the table saw, clean up the edges so we have a nice clean edge. Okay, so now that we've got our blank glued up, we've got the edge cleaned up. Um, from here, I could just take it over to the lathe, start turning it around, uh, but I'm going to take one extra step. I'm going to cut all the corners off on the table saw so that it's a little bit easier and faster on my lathe. Okay, so that's the blank finished. Uh, we chopped off the edges. We cleaned up this face here where the ferrule is going to go, so that's all nice and clean. I do want to point out, we did not clean this edge up. Uh, this is the end that will be put in the chuck. It will be parted off somewhere in here. So this being uneven does not matter. Uh, the chuck will be holding the outsides. Uh, another thing I wanted to note is I purposely made the hole a little bit off just to show uh, when we go to the lathe and do turn it uh, just to show that if you're a little bit off on your slot cutting it's not going to matter uh, getting on a lathe getting this all squared up on the lathe uh, will turn it round and get you all squared up so that little bit being off doesn't matter so that's it the blinks all made up uh, after this 
ready to take it over to your lathe and start turning it. That will be in the next video, so stay tuned for that to come. Thanks again for watching, and as always, stay safe.